Same process, please, guys. We'll use the mics around the room. Please be mindful that all of you will probably want to ask a question, so it's not three questions each. We won't be hanging around for that long. You can be mindful of each other. That means we'll get through as many as we can. Let me find my record. Are we starting with Pete again? Are you ready? <coughs> you have some, sorry. Yeah, One second. You have some water. Thank you. Good afternoon, welcome to Manchester. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah. Can I just ask you, you've got the shirt, the number nine, you've got the price tag, and you have the reputation. That feels like an awful lot of pressure. How are you going to handle that? Uh, like I've been doing uh, my, whole, uh, my whole career. Uh, try to enjoy every single minute, every moment. Uh, to try to not to think too much because uh, I think overthinking is not a good thing for uh, every human being. Uh, I just try to relax when I can relax and to uh, enjoy every single moment when I can and uh, to work hard. The City have won an awful lot of Premier League titles in recent years but the Champions League just evades them. Do you, do you sense maybe that you're a big piece in the jigsaw now, a Champions League winning team hopefully? What I'm going to say is, uh, I said it before, Champions League is uh, that's my favourite competition, so uh, I think you have the answer there. Thank you. Erling, how big is the challenge for you personally here as well as the team who have invested so much in you? Yeah, it's a big challenge. Uh, it's a new country, it's, um, it's a new league, uh, new coach, new everything, so it's a big challenge, of course. Uh, but I know how it is to come to a new club, uh, so uh, I've done it a couple of times before, uh, so uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And you've met the fans outside there clearly, in order to have you here, what sort of player should they expect to see? Uh, a player that smiles a lot, uh, works a lot and hopefully uh, enjoy the game a lot. Um, uh, the first time I, I uh, learned that uh, Alpi Holland had a son was when you visited my hometown of Bergen in 2017. Uh, you came with Molde, you played against SK Brown and you scored four goals. Yeah, in 2018, yeah. yeah. Four goals in, in 21 minutes. How do you remember that day? Yeah, it was a really, uh, a really strange day. Uh, I had some... Uh, Problems in the preseason, uh, actually, uh, and uh, I haven't been. I uh, was horrific uh, the weeks before in training, uh, but uh, I had uh, Ole Gunnar at. Uh, at uh, he was uh, my coach then, uh, and um, it was some diff difficult. I was not good. Training was not good, and so on. But then he came to me. He said, "Yeah, you're gonna start this game. I think it's a good game for you." And uh, yeah, the rest is history. He he was right. It was a really good. Uh, was a really good game. It's happened so fast for you. You moved a bit around, but can you tell us a bit about how you have been uh, planning your career with your father, with uh, your agents, and, and uh, finally ending up here at Manchester City? Yeah, we've been doing um, every step perfectly now. Uh, I have a good, uh, good and small team around me that's that focus a lot. I have really good friends from my hometown. Uh, I have people that push me when they should push me and uh, they stop me when they should stop me. So uh, I have a g really good mix kind of people around me that makes me better every single day. And that's in the end what I want. Good luck for the season. Thank you. Hi, Erling. New competition in the Premier League. Um, what do you think you can bring to it um, and bring to this city team of champions? Hopefully some more quality. <laughs> uh, with uh, with me as a striker, uh, I want to uh, have fun. When I have fun, I score goals, I smile, I uh, enjoy playing football and everything. So, <clears throat> in the end, I just hope to smile a lot. And what really impressed you about the city team watching them from, from afar? Yeah, it's how they. I played against them in um, 
champion Champions League last year, uh, and then you know you see something on TV, and then when you actually meet it, it's completely different. And uh, I got a feeling of that. Suddenly, I didn't touch the ball for 25 minutes in the game. I was like, oh, please, Gundogan, stop playing uh, tiki taka all the time. You know, a bit like this. Uh, so uh, it's it's a it's a different level, I have to say. Um, how they approach the game, how they play, how they create chances, and that's what I wanted to be. A, that's what I want to be a part of. Everything. Everything. Headers, shooting with our left foot, right foot, movements with the ball, off the ball, everything. And I just, I just had the feeling in my stomach, and uh, and um, yeah, the feeling, the way they play, everything. I just had the feeling for City. Just, just say a little bit about the potential of this City team coming up now with players like you, Phil Foden. This could be a side that's together for a few years. Yeah, it's not only. Me and Phil Foden is uh, the whole squad. There's so many good players. Uh, there's a huge potential, and uh, the and the uh, city is already Premier League winners, and it's still a huge potential, and that's a good thing. So uh, I'm really excited. Just towards the back. Thank you. Hello. Uh, you always showed a very good connection with your teammates in the forward line. Um, we were just uh, talking about Phil Foden, you just met Julian Alvarez. Um, how do you plan on, on, on making this connection that helps so much in, 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 the, in the field? Yeah, I think it's just about being myself. Uh, to connect on and off the pitch, to uh, get to know each other now at first and to uh, to try to uh, to build on something, you know. That's what I did when I came to uh, to Salzburg, to Dortmund. You know, you you uh, train with each other. You start to know each other. Uh, in Dortmund, it worked really, really well with uh, with Jaden Sancho straight ahead. Um, in my debut, he after one minute on the pitch, he assisted me a really nice ball from him and a nice goal. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's about getting to know each other, to play, uh, to play with each other, so we we can perform at the highest level. Erling, when when your move was announced, we saw you recreate that famous picture of your childhood wearing the Manchester City shirt. I just wonder, sort of, how much Manchester as a place and Manchester City as a club mean to you and your family, and whether that played a big part in why you decided to come. Yeah, of course. First of all, it was a really nice picture. I I like this picture a lot. Uh, I have to say, uh, it was actually my father who took the who took the picture uh, of me. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's as I said, it's nice to be here. Uh, I was born in England. Uh, I lived there for four years, and then I moved to Norway. So uh, it's it's a good feeling. Just go to Alan. More about here, please, guys. Hi, Helen. Um Just on an ambition for scale, when you see the other teams winning all the leagues and the cups, and you talked about Champions League there, is it an ambition of yours to win those big trophies, Ballon d'Or, you know, push yourself to reach the scales that you can do? Yeah, I think uh, I think every footballer wants to win trophies and to become better every single day and to. To work hard, that you become better, that you perform at the highest level, and uh, things like this. So, yes, of course. For you then, watching the other teams lift those trophies, though, is there a bit of jealousy sometimes and think I want that? <laughs> sometimes, yeah. I look at someone and they they pose with the trophy, and then I said, ah, I would love to be you right now. But uh, let's just uh, keep working hard, and hopefully in the future I will um, I would lift a couple of um, trophies. 
eight assists in the Premier League last season. Do you think it will be more next year? How many that will be I hope for him he will uh, he will get more assists uh, this season. Just here. Just behind Alan, please. Just behind Alan, please. Um, this is your your fifth club already in your career, and I, I think yeah, fifth. And each time it's been a very smooth progression, and you've improved each time, stepped up each time. Do you feel that you're ahead of schedule almost, or it's moved quicker than you might have expected at the start? Yeah, in some way, but also um, not when you when you see how I've been performing, you know. Uh, it was a big step going uh, to Molde from uh, from my hometown club. It was a big step going to Salzburg, Dortmund, uh, and now City. Uh, but uh, it's been going good. Uh, I've been um, I've been taking the the choice really. I've been thinking through a lot of things and uh, every time. So uh, now I'm just looking forward to it. Do you feel ready to set down roots now for? Long, long what? Do you feel ready to stay at one club for a long time now, whether it's five, ten years or a long yeah, time? Yeah, at least I signed a five year deal, so uh, we have to start there. Just come this way, please. This way, please, guys. Just as well. Hi, Erling. I believe when you were deciding your future, you spoke to, to Pep Guardiola. I'm just wondering what he told you about the club and the team and to ask you what questions you asked him. Uh, I I watched Manchester City ever since uh, Pep Guardiola took over in uh, 2016, I believe it was. So uh, I know, I think I know exactly how they play, and uh, I know, I think I know a lot about everything. So uh, I think that's the most important thing. When you when you spoke to to Guardiola, what what did you have? What questions did you have for him? As I said, I I knew a lot of things uh, before uh, before everything. So yeah. Martha. Hi. Um, you said outside you've you've got quite a few of Guerrero shirts at home. Is he somebody you've particularly admired over the years? Yes, of course he. Uh, He's a, he's a legend. Uh, he's a, one of the best ever to play in uh, in Premier League, and uh, yeah, I remember a lot of uh, goals he scored, uh, especially the especially the the ninety three twenty goal. Uh, so uh, yeah, I remember a lot of goals from him. And, and also, uh, you said uh, I think you said Jude Bellingham was perhaps your best mate, was it? Uh, Dorman. Yeah, he was a good guy. Did he, did he try and persuade you to stay, or? <laughs> we we talked a lot about it, uh, and uh, in the end, we talked about uh, England as a country and uh, and everything. And uh, uh, hopefully, he's happy for me. Is he back to England next summer then? Is he? <laughs> good question. We will have to see. <laughs> Just do one more towards the back of the room, there, please, guys. I just wondered if you'd set yourself the personal goal target for the season. To enjoy. Because your favourite to be top goal scorer. <laughs> Most important thing is to enjoy. Thank you guys. Thank Good. You. Thank you guys. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs>